welcome to another fantastic episode of the Dialogue Chronicles. This is episode 10, officially, even though unofficially I'm not sure what episode we're on. Welcome. Here, here. Raise your glass and toast to the power of dialogue. Welcome, Jot Dot. Welcome all others that are here. Today we're going to surf the web with Dyla and use several different versions of Netscape looking at the same website to see how they compare. We're going to be using Netscape 2.02 Gold, Netscape 4.7 and Netscape 9.0.06.06. All right, let's dial in. I'm gonna try dialing into Dial Up World, which is a web server anyone can use online. I tried it earlier and it worked, so hopefully it'll work again. Here we go. Okay, Dial Up World. Logged in, logging on the network. Hopefully, it'll log on. Is that corrupt? Okay. Hopefully, we won't have any more problems. But we appear to be dialed in, which is the most important thing. We're dialed in to dial up world, which Anyone can go to or at 31.2k. Suppose I suggest everyone try and dial up world. It's a ISP anybody can use. Sorry about my camera. It appears to be dropping frames. Hmm. I have to make myself smaller. I'll keep an eye on that. The computer seems fine. We've been connected for 48 seconds, 31.2 beeps, K. Okay, looking good. Let's, um, so first we're gonna go to Wibby.me. I'm gonna use that substantially. Uh, let's check out random websites. And we're going to it surprised me several times. So this is Netscape 2.02. Netscape version 2.02 gold, Java compatible, RSA public key crypto system. Then we have Netscape 4.7 here. Ooh, that camera is stinky. I have to play with it. I have to make myself smaller. Happy Easter! Hey, what's up, California Four? Thanks for coming in. Happy Easter! All right. What's up, Charlie? Good to see you. Hello again, Jotdot. So, Wibby.me is like an older. It's a web engine that works for older servers for older computers. So I'm on uh, Windows 98. Just real quick, give the specs. If I can do, if I remember how to do that. I don't think I do. <laughs> anyway, we're running Windows 98. Uh oh. Yeah, doing it wrong. I need to go to properties. There we go. Microsoft Windows 98 Second Edition 4.10, Pentium 2, 64 megabytes of RAM. 
Yeah. <laughs> we saw each other earlier this morning, California Ford. So, uh, yeah, thanks for showing up. That's really cool of you. All right. So, anyway, this is Netscape 4.7 that we're going to be searching websites with. And, uh, let's see. Get the, oh, trying to get the about. Here we go. So this is Netscape Communicator 4.73, powered by Java, Vicinogic, TrueDoc, RCA Secure, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then we're gonna be using Windows 9.0.02. Happy Easter to all. All right, man, I already got a lively chat here. So this is, um, let me, let me go to, yeah, about, here we go. This is version 9.0.06. So we're just going to go on, we're just going to search random websites and see how they look on the different Netscape navigators or if they look different at all. So we're going to start with 4.73. I'm going to go back home. So I've made Wibby.me my home. And again, it's just a server, like it's a search engine like Google or Bing or whatever, DuckDuckGo. And it usually brings up sites that will work with the computer running a Pentium 2 or Windows 98. Yes. <laughs> I know, yeah. Who wants to use Windows 10? I don't know. I, I never went back. I, I, well, I'm using Windows, the newest Windows now, because I'm on my wife's computer using this computer that she has. So, yeah, but otherwise I wouldn't use it. Yeah, you need to go back to Windows 98 because it helps you. Okay, so here we go. Pulpandagger.com. Pulp and Dagger Fiction Web Zine, The Great Canadian Guide to Movies, Jeffrey Blair Lotta's Legendary Kingdom Kong, The King Kong Tribute Site, Sound Files, Picks, and more. The Gimmerin Collection, Simmerin, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stop it for now. And I'm going to going to copy it. And now I'm going to pull up Netscape 2.02. .02. So this is the oldest version of Netscape that I have. And I'm going to paste this site and see how it works on this one. Thank you, California Ford. Oh, Chromebook, yeah, Chromebook. It's almost basically like um, a tablet with a keyboard. <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar with Chromebooks. Oh, this website is older, the Alter Accretion homepage, because it's coming up pretty well here, just as it did at Netscape 4.7. It's coming up just as quickly, just about. Last modified on February 22nd, 2006. So yeah, it's older. Previously modified on November 2nd, 1999. If you want to comment on any or all of the things you'll find on the site, feel free to contact us here at latabros at yahoo.com. We need to contact them. Look, it's already loaded. So it loaded faster on the old one. So let's go to Windows 9 see how it works comes up on here oh <laughs> thank you <laughs> I love to make outstanding streams <laughs> that's what that's what I do for life <laughs> all right so again this website's coming up 
you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Bin Kenobi Star Wars. Oh, it's coming up just the same here. It's coming up pretty well. The Accretion, the Accretion achieved consciousness on November 10th, 1998. I see. Good deal. And you know we're online because of these computers talking to each other way down here. And you know the website's loading because you see this little circle turning up here. It, it does. Take, yeah, it takes ages. It really does. It's an atrocity to mankind. Alright, so I'm going to stop on this. And I'm going to go back to Netscape 2.02. .02, and I want to come down and click here. See if we can email this. Oh. I wonder if this would work. Netscape. Subject. Dialogue. Hello, I found you on dial-up, thanks. Let's see if it would send. I don't think it'll work because, yeah, Netscape is unable to locate the server. The server does not have a DNS entry. But I want to save this site, so I'm going to make it a book I'm gonna bookmark it add bookmark wait I want to do it on the 2.02 .02. add bookmark and we'll, maybe later in the second half we'll actually try to email this through my Juno email so I do have a legitimate dial-up internet service provider called Juno which is here Ugh, look at all the stuff I gotta bring down right here I've got an older version and a newer version here. I pay $11.99 a year for that dial-up internet. The original computer doesn't ask for yearly updates or upgrades or crash like these modern computers, laptops, phones, and tablets. Yeah, well, actually they did then too, uh, but not as much, yeah. Not, well, yeah, because they didn't have internet back then, so you couldn't update them. That's true. Okay, so let's try again. So let's do another random site. And see how they all come up. So I'm going to hit home here and go back to Wibby.me. And I'm going to hit surprise me. La Voce del Mal Piggy. Giornale et autogestito d'agli students del liceo scientifico. Yeah. This is great. This is an amazing site. Let's copy it and see how it pops up on Netscape 4.7. Based. My favorite part of Netscape is seeing the rockets move across the end. Sure, it's all of your favorites. What's up, JC Russell? I missed you. Sorry. Happy Easter, Russell. Thanks for everybody being here to watch me surf the web with dial up. That came up really quick right here. Let's try it on uh, Netscape 2.02. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. And this is my favorite one, just seeing the rockets go across the end. That was the coolest thing to me now and to me then as a kid when we when I first got dial-up. La Voce de Magpili. Let's go to the clink. Oh look, we could send him an email too. So we need a uh we need to put him in bookmarks and email this guy later. Archivio. Let's see what that's all about real quick. Ooh, we can get Acrobat. Numero de December 
Kutazan, Prima Pagina. This is very informative. Yeah, that's true. California. Yeah, I like to still hook everything in with an Ethernet cable if I can. Uh, that helps. I used to have lots of, have an Ethernet cable. I'm in a room in the back of my house and I have an Ethernet cable like that's, uh, I don't know, a hundred foot long going all the way back here into a switcher to make all this happen. Because, uh, of course, I'm not like truly on a landline phone. Unfortunately, I used to have one, but I had to get rid of it because it was so expensive. But I have an Ethernet cable going all the way back here from the front of my house all the way back to the back here into a VoIP box that's hooked into a telephone line. So, yes, AOL. We should try to dial into AOL <laughs> today tonight we've tried that before it doesn't really work but it's fun to try because I have the disc and it will actually dial La Voce del Mont P so this is like um, a newsletter I guess anybody can read a what is this Italian <laughs> Latin questo el primo wait or is this yeah <laughs> all right cool cool all right well let's uh let's see let me go all right let's go home and we'll see whoa look at that it's not supposed to happen i guess it is what happened Reload. Okay, let's hit surprising. Hope they didn't mess up all my pictures. F Fire Department New York Trucks.com. I think that's what that is. So this probably isn't going to work on here. It's looking like. Oh, here it comes. On this site, you will find the most complete archive of apparatus photos of the New York City Fire Department. Every first line. All right. It's, it's coming up pretty slow. Let's try it. What the crap? It all went away. Okay, let's try it on Netscape 4.7. Excuse me. Yeah, it looks like a really interesting article, California. Definitely. Looks very interesting. Mm, yeah. It's like everything is made better in the beginning. It's like your first stereo, the first stereo that came out, it was better. Stereos now are a piece of junk. It's like the first time they make anything, it's always better. So look here, we just got red on Netscape 4.7. Let's see what happens with Netscape 9 with this site. Hopefully it'll actually come up correctly. Yeah, now it's actually coming up correctly because this is the latest version of Netscape. FDNYtrucks.com <laughs> you don't speak German? Oh, man. <laughs> Just English and Spanish. That's it? <laughs> yeah, but see, the website's actually coming up here. Welcome to FDNY Trucks. This is the largest site on the internet devoted solely to the photography of fire apparatus. My name is Michael Martinelli, and I am a fireman with the Hackensack. <laughs> is that a game, Hackensack? New Jersey Fire Department. I am also one of the staff photographers with F 
fire. Oops, I actually clicked on something. Dang it. I didn't mean to do that. Let me hit stop. Fire Apparatus Journal Magazine. Look at this beautiful picture. It looks messed up, actually. It doesn't look right. I think I messed something up by getting that. Oh, no. Well, maybe. Crap. Oh well, I'm not going to worry about it now. On the site you'll find the most complete archive of apparatus photos of the New York City Fire Department. Well, let's see. Oh. Additional plugins are required? Can I install the missing plugins that simply? Welcome to the plugin finder service. Navigator is now checking for available plugins. Okay. Let's see if this will work. Oh, no suitable plugins were found. Okay. Oh well. All right. So this site basically only worked on Netscape Nine. All right. Let's go home and. Uh, yeah, the red. <laughs> the red. The red background. Alright, let's hit surprise me. See what we get. Wildflowersandweeds.com Man, everybody's hanging in there. All six of you. Yeah. <laughs> well, all five of you and my one proxy viewer. <laughs> Got like one extra YouTube channel that's always viewing to make me look popular. Thomas J. Elpil's Web World Portal. Wildflowersandweeds.com. Botany in a Day. The Patterns of Plant Identification. Accept this certificate permanently. Botany in a day, the patterns method of plant identification. Updated now with a thousand pictures online. Wildflower photo gallery. Identify your wildflowers. I was trying to go to YouTube. Okay. See if these pictures come up right. It's like when I went to Adobe, it seemed to do something weird to everything. Like these pictures aren't looking right to me now. <laughs> yeah, it's only legal in some places. <laughs> I'm in the deep south, so I'd have to get a doctor to prescribe it to me. <laughs> I guess this web, it is coming up a little weird. Oh well, I'm not, yeah, it's not, oh. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Probably just gotta restart the computer. Yeah, it's amazing how I do one weird thing on the computer and everything messes up. Okay, so this is a lot of pictures to upload. going to stop it. Oh, look at the cute little thing up here. I'm going to stop it and see what it looks like on Netscape 4.7. Let's see. All right. Looking a little better. La 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 la. Okay. Everybody having a great time? Okay. See how it comes up on Netscape 4.7. Wildflowers and weeds. It's taking its time here. Not coming up nearly as quickly. Mm. 
Okay, there it goes. Took a little bit longer. Like us on Facebook, Thomas J. L. Pills, L. Pills World Web Fortune. Plant identification, edible plants, weed ecology, mushrooms, and more. Oh, maybe this could teach us something, huh? Should save this for later. That's the, that's the thing I like about it being surprised me on Wibby.me is you find all these crazy websites. Let's see if this works on uh, Netscape 2.02. See if it'll come up at all. I doubt it. Because this is the oldest browser. We'll see. It might. coming up. It's definitely taking its time here. Okay. This is kind of what I expected to happen. It's nothing. Here it goes. Oh. It's a long moment of silence. Space. <laughs> Are you looking at the website, California? <laughs> hey, hello, old Charlie. Oh, man. Yeah, but are you looking at the website, California? It doesn't tell you if you could smoke it. This is horrible. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hit stop. I'm gonna uh, let's start. Let's go to Netscape 4.7. Let's go back home and let's um let's try another site. Connection's still looking good. Okay, it surprised me. If y'all have something you want me to search. There's a search bar too. I can search something if you'd like. Oh, thepoopshow.com. This is amazing. <laughs> Parental advisory. What the? Oh, wow. Oh, uh, excuse me. Parental advisory. Okay. Let me copy this. Excuse me. Okay, it's coming up. Oh, a big splotch of poop is loading. Literally. <laughs> this is very healthy for everyone. It says it's loading. But it's not. But it is. Parental advisory. Oh, parental advisory. Enter your own risk. Okay, let's enter. It has an inner page. Okay. Thepoopshow.com slash home dot html. View my guest map. Free guest maps by bravenet.com. Put your pin on the map. Videos, pictures, email list. Hmm. I wonder what happens if we click on videos? Okay. New videos on the way. Check out the rebirth of the poop show with the newest video, Fat Boy Food Network. I put all the old favorites in the video section and added an all new message board feature. Sign up and post your opinions promptly. I also brought back the pushpin globe so you can represent your place of residence. So do that too. A message board, what? All right, I wanna hit stop because I wanna click on this message board. 
Okay, that didn't come up. That's okay. Let's see, videos? Wonder if that'll come up. Identity crisis picks up chicks. Oh, really? Ghetto Food Network trip to New York City and World Trade Tri Center tribute. Baltimore hijinks poop my ride. Have you seen her? What is this? If this snow was only brown. Beer farts. What the crap? The poop show. Pull it up from the ground and smoke it. Yeah. Yeah, at least back then they put a parental advisory. Golly, they don't even do that now. <laughs> oh. Look at this monkey telling us about the poop show. Great. I want to see if one of these will work. What the crap? I didn't see crisis oh it's loading oh goodness it's gonna take forever it's gonna take an hour 19 minutes 14 16 K of 55 thousand five thousand five hundred thirty six K Hey, you can, I still have the Vox TV. You can still get an antenna on your modern TVs. Yeah, you can't get the rabbit ears. Well, you can get the rabbit ears still. They still sell the rabbit ears at Walmart. But, um, you can still watch TV for free on an antenna. If you use an old TV, then you have to get a special box that George Bush, George W. Bush gave for free to everybody in the early 2000s. <laughs> yeah, check out stupid people. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Charlie, right. It's true. Okay, we're not going to do this because this is going to take a long time. Well... Yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. Dang it. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. Let's see if this works on uh, Netscape 2.02. Paste. All right, my camera seems to balance out. That's good. Oh, look, yeah. All rights reserved. Yeah, definitely different here. Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was downloading something, Charlie, but it was just going to take too long. So I. It, it, it would have worked. I mean, I guess it would have worked, but it would have taken an hour. <laughs> And then, yeah, so just, no, nah, I'm not doing it. Analog TV gone, though. Yeah, and there's no analog TV. There actually was, oh, look, as soon as I said the video was working better now. Oh, well. Dang it. Goodness gracious. Yeah, but, um, there was just as, 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 uh, recent as just a few years ago. There's a guy I watch on YouTube called, uh, Antenna Man. And he found like the last analog TV channel, like the TV channel with the dots all over it, like the buzzing, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, they actually still had like two or three left somewhere in the Northeast, but they're gone now too. Yeah. Yeah. Now you still can get free TV though, California, if you have a good enough antenna and you point it the right way, you can still get CBS, NBC, ABC, Fox, some weird other random channels. I still have an antenna. Uh, I don't have any kind of cable right now. I just have 
Disney Plus, bro. <laughs> but uh, the only reason you really need cable now is to watch sports. If you don't watch sports, you can stream it or you can, yeah, you can stream it or buy, just buy the movie and start your own streaming service on your own home. There's YouTube videos that show you how to like burn all your DVDs and build your own streaming service, like just for you personally. So that's something to think about. Yeah. But yeah, analog TV is gone. Oh yeah, you saw that, Charlie? Yeah, yeah, on Antenna Man. Yeah, that was wild. That was like a couple years ago, I think. But yeah, uh, okay, so this website's not coming up too well. Let's see, I want to view his guest map here and see what happens. Oh, nothing. Okay, let's go to let's go to Windows 9 and see how this website works. Oh, excuse me. Guys, while this comes up, I'm going to refill my Pac-Man cup. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I don't have a be right back thing, but I will be right back. What I do is I turn the music up a little louder. <laughs> California. I'll be right back. Okay, my cup is refilled. I'm feeling much better now. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, create a free streaming app called D's Nuts. That would be good. Today's TV will shut off by itself. Well, yeah, like I have a Roku TV and it'll shut off by itself. But that's good. <laughs> In case you leave it on. Mm. Okay, so everything's coming up here just slowly. I wonder if I try to go to Facebook. Let me hit stop. I'm gonna hit Facebook. I wonder if that would work. Yep, so I'm on dial-up internet through like a VoIP phone line. So thank you, California. <laughs> um, I used to have a real landline home phone, but it was just so expensive. It was $80 a month, so I got rid of it. And now I spend like a dollar a month on this. But it's a voice over internet phone. And you use a VoIP box, like a Linksys, and then you make some modifications to the settings. And then you can dial up, just like you were in the 90s. It's pretty cool. And it's a lot cheaper than having a home phone, though I would like to get a home phone again. Just for the authentic, authenticity, authenticness of having a real home phone. Rather than this VoIP phone. But it's still, it's a home phone, so that's cool. So it, it did take me to Facebook. But it's an unsupported browser. You are you're using a browser that isn't supported by Facebook. So we've redirected you to a simpler version to give you the best experience. Oh, thank you, Facebook. Okay, allow the use of cookies from Facebook on this browser. Do we need meta? Oh, excuse me, meta products. What are cookies? Cookies are small pieces of text that are used to store and receive identifiers on a web browser. We use cookies and similar technologies to offer meta products and blah blah blah. Okay. <laughs> Let's allow all cookies. I'm sure that'll be good. 
wonder if it's actually going to take me to Facebook. Look, it's trying. There's the F for Facebook. I remember in college, like, going to my library to get on Facebook before we had smartphones. Oh, man. Let's create a new account. <laughs> We're on Facebook using dial-up internet. This is amazing. Dang it, I've gone glitchy again. Yeah, cookies have been updated. <laughs> Me when Facebook doesn't support Natescape. <laughs> right. Oh man, this would be cool. We could set up a... Okay. My first name is Dial-Up. Can you still use fake names on Facebook? And my last name is Chronicles. My phone number is... Let's see if I can just make up something. Oh, my female is custom. <laughs> my birthday is today. Let's see. Okay. It's close enough. It's not my exact birthday. <gasps> Showing my password. Oh, well. I'm just going to give up. Whatever. Thank you. Goodness, it's Friday. 8899. Sign up. Is it really that easy? This is crazy. I'm I'm setting up a Facebook account with dial-up internet. It's the most amazing thing ever. No. We require everyone to use the name they use in everyday life. What their friends call them on Facebook. You've got to be kidding me. Wait. Dial up chronicles at juno.com. Let's try again. Let's see. How could I have entered the wrong info? What? No. No. Come on. You've got to work. Custom your gender. <laughs> custom <laughs> I have a custom gender. It's Mr. Robotnik. <laughs> oh man, this would be cool if this worked though. Look, it's even a secured. Look at the security here. Okay. It accepted my... Uh... It accepted my email, because the email's not here anymore. Okay. All right. I'll use my real name. Evan. Chronicles. <laughs> Let's see if that works. My age is revealed. Not f no, I need a fake name. Let's see if it lets me use my last initial. First or last names? Uh, Evan. Evan McCullen. <laughs> okay, let's try that.
Dang it. Let's put, let's put a different age. Looks like I entered the wrong info. I'm really 38. Evan McCullough is 38. We got two things right, though. Right, dial-up is more secure. <laughs> dial-up won't allow me to be fake. With the modern internet and real. Okay, we just gotta keep trying random numbers till I get the right number. 27. Yeah. <laughs> Who is Evan McCullen? Well, maybe if I look him up online, it'll say his age. <laughs> it would be funny if I found the age. Evan McCullen age. I can't believe there is an Evan McCullen. Hang on, I'm going on my other computer here that you can't see. Seeing... Evan McMullen. Evan McMullen is age 37 and he lives in Cocoa, Florida. Alright. See if 37 works. <laughs> Names D's Nuts. Gender Haywire. Age 69 years old. State California town. Weeds. Hobbies. Sleep. <laughs> Weed California does exist. Yeah, that's me. Oh, man. Okay, that's right. We're age 69. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to turn on my AC. Whew, I'm heating up in here. Okay, that didn't work. I had to turn my AC up. Oh. Man, we're so close. We just keep guessing. I'm age seven. <laughs> oh, man. We have to try every number. No, we're not going to do that. Dang, but that would be so cool. I might try this on my own. Just for fun. Okay. Man, I have to save this. Okay. Anyway. We'll, we'll come back. We'll do this again, though. That was cool. That was cool. Sorry that that didn't work out. Dial-up is too secure. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> You're stealing my identity of Evan Mc... I'm stealing <laughs> Evan McMullen's identity. <laughs> stealing my coffee. Alright, let's go home. That was fun. Okay, let me get... Surprise me. Publicstairs.com Okay. Weed, California. That's where I need to go. Weed, California. Alright, I don't want to do... Whatever. What is this crap? I don't want to do this. I don't... Air 403 forbidden. What? Okay, let's try a different. Let's try it again real quick. For comparison. Try something else. Oh, Netscape and the server don't communicate. Okay, back home. All right. Welcome, everyone, again. Wibby, what is beyond yogurt? <laughs> yeah, that's what it stands for, exactly. Levity.com slash alchemy. Alchemy. Slash Bamberg slash 
HTML. What is this? Hermetic symbolism in a Masonic engraving. Oh, good. This is very good for us to study and pay attention to. This will be for our health. Levity. I, I think that will be good. Not. <laughs> All right. It's working, but it's just coming up slow. I want to see what it does on Netscape 9. So, uh, I'm going to hit stop to see how it, if it goes any faster on Netscape 9. Man, what a bummer about Netscape. That was pretty cool. Okay. Oh yeah, this is coming up way quicker. Hermetic symbolism in a Masonic engraving. Article Madame McLean, originally published in the Hermetic Journal, winter 1987. Oh, good. Goody good. It's got a lot of crap on here. Oh, gosh. I feel like this is evil. I reproduce here the final plate in a set of six copper plate engravings found in the archives of Masonic Lodge in Bamberg in Germany. These were, however, of English origin, being engraved by P. Lambert, R.A., and published in London in 1789. What? This sixth plate from the series is especially rich in symbolism, and as much of which has obvious hermetic undertones, it especially attracted my interest. It did, huh? What the crap? Oh man, this is loading slow. I mean, actually, it's just got a lot of stuff on there. Hey, thanks for coming, California Ford. Have a great night. Thank you so much. We'll see each other again somewhere on a live stream. <laughs> Perhaps Big Angry Phil. I'll go check out Big Angry Phil. He's he does fun live streams as well. Big Angry Phil. I'm giving you a shout out. Okay. Um. All right, well. Yeah, that's definitely taking a long time. So I doubt this is going to come up on Netscape 2.02. But I guess we'll try it. So I'm going to hit stop here. And... I'm going to hit... Here we go. Let's see if it does work. probably not going to come up here because this is the oldest browser but that's okay oh no crap you guys seeing me okay says my stream is poor now. Oh goody. It's not receiving enough video. What the crap? Anyway. Oh well. Alright, this website's not going to come up. Let's do... Why don't we search something? Uh, let me go home. up something here. Let's look up time travel. 
whatever, I don't know. Something. Time travel, even though it's impossible to travel in time. Temporal anomalies are frequently asked questions about time travel. Temporal anomalies in popular time travel movies. Okay. Let's see what that's about. Myong.net. Slash time. Okay. Copy. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm getting tired too. Movies analyzed and order examined. Oh, look at all that. I want to see, uh, wait, I saw Back to the Future. It's kind of cool. Back to the Future 2. Let's go there. Let's see what happens. came up. Okay, let's try Netscape 4.7. Navigate through space and time with Netscape Navigator. <laughs> time travel is real. All right, Charlie, if you say so, then I raise my glass and I concur. <laughs> time travel is real on Netscape Navigator. <laughs> Welcome back, Jock Dot. <laughs> nah, Jock Dot, you still spelled it wrong. Through. Through. <laughs> okay, it's coming up here on Netscape 4.7. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it actually looks better on 4.7, which makes sense. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry, whoa. Okay, let's do Back to the Future 2 on this. Let's see. Web space. Traveling through time in web space. Oh, oh gosh, excuse me. Okay. Well, now nothing. No, nothing. What the cony? All right, try a few more seconds. Oh. Here it goes. It took a while, but it came up. Oh, I see. Sideways Time was not new with this movie, nor has it been ignored since. My earliest peek at it was in an old John Pertwee Doctor Who episode in which the Doctor slides into what is frequently misnomered a parallel world. An infinite number of choices. Oh no, the multiverse. An infinite number of parallel worlds is how he describes it, and wrong on two counts. Very great but finite number of choices, a very great but finite number of divergent worlds, but it was a mistake which took genius to make. The same approach sideways time has become the basis for the wonderful fantasy sliders and has been incorporated into the concepts of the recent multiverse or game system. In each of these contexts, blah, 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 blah. What the crap? Okay, you gotta go back and read that. Undead in the river. Corpus. What the crap is going on here? All right, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna see what it looks like on Netscape 9. What did I just do? Holy cannoli. Whoops. I don't know what I just did. Okay. Thank you guys for being here. Charlie, Chat Talk, Proxy Server. <laughs> the other guy, Russell, and someone else. 
Problems in time. Tron travels been at staple in science fiction since H.G. Wells. Unfortunately, not what much of what passes for intelligence in this area is poorly considered. Okay. So this looks good. This looks pretty much like what it looked like on Netscape 4.7. Let's click on a different one. Let me hit stop. Is this is a big... Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Oh, Planet of the Apes. Yeah. I love the first one. When you use modems by the time, it loads you. Look, yo, at the clock. And it is the end of the day. Time up equals time travel, right? <laughs> time it loads. You look at the clock and it's, yeah. Very good. Good shot, Todd. Yeah. Absolutely. The essential time to guide, essential guide to time travel. Set up of the story. At the beginning, we weren't aware of it, but this film also undermines itself, becoming impossible in an effort to explain itself. But let us not begin there. We will begin in the future, three years after Rufus made his fateful trip to 1988 to help Bill and Ted in 2691. We are introduced to Day Nomulus, an impressively threatening villain within the comic setting played by Brit British actor Joss Ackland. He has appeared in quite a few of the British television exports, including the Sherlock Holmes mystery, The Copper Beaches, but will be best known to American audiences for his turn as a South African diplomat and lethal weapon, too. Okay, I'm sure there's lots of text here, yeah. Oh my goodness. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, that's right, there was time travel in that movie. For those that have seen that movie, from 1990, whatever, whenever that movie came out. Ooh. My stream is unhealthy. Okay, guys, it is 8.30. I'm going to take, well, it's 8.34. I'm going to take my first official break. I'll be back in about five minutes. Hang in there, okay? I got a BBS I want to try called uh, The Keep. I don't think we've tried this one yet, I hope. And then I've got some older websites I want to see if they work on any of the Netscapes. And then, um, and then, yeah, we can do whatever. So hang with me. Give me about five minutes and I will return. Don't go anywhere, just like they used to say on other shows.
lost one person. I'm back from my official break. And my glass is full of Pac-Man. Only Pac-Man. Alright guys, thank you for hanging in there. It's Charlie and Jot Dot. I know that's that's who's here. <laughs> I just know it. It's Charlie, Jot Dot, and my proxy server. Good to have all of you back here. Okay. So what should we do now? Let's um yeah, let's I, I found this site. Uh websites. It's like older websites, I think. I'm gonna try looking up one of them. Let's see. I wonder if Wikipedia you know what I wanna try? Oh, oh, oh wait. I'm gonna try uh just thought about it. Crap. Um, I don't know what I want to try now. Dang it. Oh, apparently MySpace still works. Let's go home and um, oh, now it's just me and Charlie. Or it's just me and John Dunn. <laughs> no, wait, it's just me and me. Okay. Let's do, uh, let's look up uh, MySpace. Let's see. I think that actually will work, possibly. Maybe. What is all this? What is this? pastelhello.com slash archive what Adam Rifkin bio I find karma.com life is either a daring adventure or it is nothing at all Adam Rifker is an entrepreneur in Silicon Valley he spends his time working on his third startup, PandaWeb, inspired by great conversations with startup founders at 106 miles. I see. Adam is no longer fun employed, although he still loves pandas and lobsters. Prior to retirement, Adam spent most of his time. What the crap? I wonder if MySpace. Let me just. What is this? Okay. Let's see, myspace.com. Is that the website? Good. Good. You peed in your seat. That's correct. Good job, Jot Dot. Proud of you. Oh, MySpace did not work. All right, let's see what we're gonna try here. Ooh, let's try New York, New York Times. I wonder if that would work. I guess we can go to the old net.com and look up some old websites there and ask Jeeves some stuff. I think that would be fun. Askjeeves.com. Ooh, connecting. Oh, man, it was connecting. Hmm. Bing will work. Bing.com. Oh, yeah, ask Jeeves. Wiki How. Genius Drudge Report Rotten. Project Gutenberg, Pandora, TV Tropes, Photo Bucket. I wonder if Wikipedia would work. <sighs> Let me try searching that. Oh, this is done. 
Okay, let me hit home. Let me look up Wooku Wooki Wooki Yipidia. Simple Star Wars book list, timeline of Star Wars novels. That looks cool. And it couldn't find much. And it doesn't work. Of course. What kind of crap was that? <clears throat> oh well. Okay. What are we gonna look up now? How to pee in my seat. Okay, let's go to the old med.com. Yeah, let's try that. I want to get out of Netscape 9 and go to Netscape 4. The old net.com. That was the headline of my stream last two weeks. Something I want to, oh yeah, ask G. I want to ask, oh gosh, it's sitting at my desk, excuse me. I'm going to ask Jeeves something. Everybody left. No. Okay, stop. And let's ask Jeeves. Askjeeves.com. Go! search thing. Dang it. Okay, let's see if it works in Netscape 9, though. <laughs> and if not, maybe it'll work in Retrozilla. It doesn't work on any of these. Let's see if it works on Netscape 9, though. Yes, I accept this certificate. Permanently. Waiting for memento web dot org. Oh, 
Charlie's back. Waiting for mentorweb.org. Come on, my mental web. I see your little thing up here. Look at that cool little travel case. Ready to travel time. Netscape 4.7. All right. All right. One more minute. Do, 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 Let's hit stop. Let's try Retrozilla. Wait. Man. Let's see if it'll work on Retrozilla. I, I want to see if this website will work. I think it'll be neat. Nicely. Bet it'll work here on Retrozilla. Waiting for mementoweb.org. to try. I just really wanted that to work. Sad. Just nothing. I guess it's just not gonna work. That was unfortunate. Yeah. I just really want to see if it'll come up. It's taking forever. come back to that let's try another website let's go back to Netscape 4.7 and I'm gonna try old web wet <laughs> wet and wild old web dot today see if that works dang it let's try it on Netscape 9 Try it on net. Oh, whoops. Okay, I gotta type it because I didn't copy it. Old web dot today. Is 
says connected. Old web dot today. Oh man. See if it'll work on Retrozilla. Old web dot today. My custom home page has a new option. Oh, we should do that. Okay, let's see if this will come up. I guess it's not going to come up. It says transferring data. It says waiting for old web dot today. Transferring data from old web dot today. It's even encrypted. As you can see down here, authenticated by Let's Encrypt. I love that group, Let's Encrypt. Okay, I think it's working. Let's go, let's go to my home page. What is my home page? Why can't I remember my own home page? Crud. What is my home page? I always get this wrong for some reason. Jot dot. Why can't I remember your website? What the pap? What the pap? There's something else I'm supposed to put, isn't there? Hang on. I have you as a whole bookmark somewhere. Let's go to bookmarks. There we go. Duh. Dialogue dot shot dot dot ah. What is going on? Maybe it's the internet. Sometimes it just funks out. Yeah, it looks like it's frozen. Hang on, let's see if it takes me home. Yeah, it took me home. Okay, let me try. Uh, Try Netscape 9 again. Okay. Okay. Dialogue.jot.org slash dial up chronicles. Right. Retrozilla. I think something's going on with dial up world. I think that's what it is. I think we need to reconnect. That's what my instinct says. Try it one more time here. Try it on Retrozilla.
think that's what it is, John Dot. I'll try disconnecting or reconnecting because I'm just not getting any new bites. Oh, there is something's going on. What if I try to just dial into Jot Dot? Because your website should come up at least. Alright, enough. I need to reconnect. I just sense it. So I'm going to disconnect. And reconnect. See if that helps. Oh, in fact, let's send some emails. Let's hook up. Well, no, I don't want to hook up through Juno just yet. Let's go to the jot dot. Oh, the jot dotter. controller in the morning. The message has been retracted. <laughs> Fun. Let's see if it logs on. There we go. Okay. 31.2. Okay. Let's try again. Try again. Come on. Try Retrozilla. Yeah, we were having all kinds of problems this second half. Here it goes. I knew something was going on with the server. Because now it's working. What is up with that? Okay, yeah. You can't click to it from your site? Alright, let me hit stop. Okay, now it should work, hopefully. Yeah, that's what I want right there. Let's go. Let's go! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Guys, I have my own website. Come visit it. Okay, not yet. Okay, I see. Man, how'd you get my, uh... That's so cool you got my, um, my thumbnail on there. How'd you get that? Like, how'd you get it in the purity of thereof? I guess from YouTube. <laughs> this is cool. What, what? I got my own website, y'all. Yeah.
5 a.m., 6 a.m. where you are, huh? Hey, I'm glad you could join us. You must have woke up just now. I'm, you're good. Good deal. I'm good, too. But you must have just woke up, huh? Your alarm must have just went off and you saw that we were streaming. You're up early, I'm guessing. Anyway, we're checking out my new website, Technology Guy, and it's coming up. Yeah, 5 a.m. right. Yeah, you're up early, boy. Oh, you got disconnected. Dang it. All right, let's try. Um, dang, what is all this? So cool. Archive. Yeah. All right, let me. Um, let's hook up through Juno. Got to send the emails anyway, huh? This will take a minute. You're right in time, technology guy, to hear the dialing. Hear the crazy dialing. Right, once this cat, right, right. Once this cast, it won't take so long. Oh good, the first number is dialing up, that's good. Sweet. Just gonna get that dumb bar up there, but that's okay. Yes, sir. You're waking up early, boy. Starting life right. Waking up early. I have to wake up on weekdays. I have to wake up as early as 3 a.m. to go to work. 3 a.m. Nobody's on the road yet at 3 a.m. Okay, hopefully this finally connects. It, it connected, but it's not like. Come on. Time out. Oh, what the? No, don't remove all the cool loading animation. Yeah. But, like, it's different every day. Like, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's five. Like, I won't have to wake up till five this time, but it's different from day to day. But sometimes it is three. Yeah. Gotta go to bed early. <sighs> okay, we're connected. Woohoo! And we get the dumb sidebar here, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. And Netscape automatically comes up. Okay. We go back to Retrozilla and make it smaller to account for the sidebar. And let's reload. Hey. Reload. Well, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Finally, we are connected. Technology guy, you must be ready, being ready to go for your day. That's cool, that's what's up. Proud of you for getting up early. Doing what you gotta do. Getting down to business. Okay. Oh, search frog find. Oh, this is so cool, Jot. Uh, you added some cool stuff here. Nice. Wibby.me archive.org slash web. You got jot.org, jot.org slash tools. Nice. That's what's up. Oh, man, this thing just froze. Come on, baby. Hey, look, look, it's coming up better, Jot. Look. Finally. I mean, I guess not really, actually. <laughs> Never mind. It's trying, though. That's okay. Yeah, I got my own website, Technology Guy.
There we go. There we go. Internet Explorer, Netscape Navigator, Windows 95 Vortor, and something else. Jot Doc, this page is unencrypted. <laughs> Thumbs up to you, technology guy. That's so cool you got Frog Find on here, Jot Doc. That is cool. I love that. There it is, mosaic. Sweet. Okay, let's hit stop. Let's try, let's see if archive.org slash web will work. That would be really cool. Connected to web.archive.org. Because <laughs> that's really the place to be. Great job with this jot dot. Right, right, resizing it, yeah. That's all you gotta do. But like, these links are perfect. Search Frog Find, it's got a search engine on there. It's awesome. I've got my own search web, my search browser. Transferring data from polyfill.archive.org. Connected to archive.org. Waiting for archive.org. <sighs> oh, I get tired. It's 9 11. Come on, archive. Come on, archive. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, Archivio! Oh! Transferring data from archive.org. Archive.org is encrypted. Authenticated by GoDaddy.com? <laughs> That's so funny. Authenticated by GoDaddy.com. Come on, if it's by GoDaddy, it's gotta work. It's gotta work, right? taking a long time. Sorry for this long wait, everyone. Technology guy, you finally got in here and now you're just watching this website trying to load forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> Dang it. It seems like it's going to work though, so I want to wait and see if it does. Ooh, it's freezing up. I just want to wait a little longer. Before I give up on it. Yeah, yeah. But that's kind of early for a Saturday. But for me, it's late. To me, I'm, I'm getting tired already. But yeah, on a Saturday night, 9 p.m., like people are just starting their live streams right now. A lot of people that I watch, they're like just about to start their live streams and then stream until you wake up. <laughs> yeah. 
It's coming up. I just want to wait and see if it comes up. It's just taking us. So, this is dial up in its true form. Come on, dial up, load the website. Yes, please. Oh. <laughs> it looks like it's really trying to work though. Looking up web-static.archive.org. Anybody seen the new Dune movie? Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. It's so close, but it's so far away. <laughs> 30. <laughs> this is the new dial up channel waiting 30 minutes for something to load. Look, the little archive thing came up finally. Look, there it is. Like the Kong Library of Congress. Crud. It's so close to fulfilling its destiny. See if it works because it's so close to appearing to work. This is taking a long time. I normally wouldn't wait this long for a website to load, but I want to give it a shot. picture thing came up so that's good news for all <laughs> now you know how slow dial up really is the system probably rebooted it it was doing that before too I see I see jot dot yeah, technology guy, this is dial up in true action form. This is day to day lives of people before you were born. Boy. <laughs> we must keep waiting, right? Oh boy, maybe not. So close to being towards the end of the line. Look, it's like it's downloading a video or something. 12 million years later. <laughs> yeah, by the time this page finally loaded, we all died. <laughs> oh my goodness. Still trying to load. It's trying really hard. And it's authenticated by GoDaddy.com. That's GoDaddy.com slash incorporated. Mm -hmm. 
Look at all this data receiving, being received. Just watch that for a while. It's because I'm on Juno. It's because I'm on Juno. How fast is the connection anyway? 33.6. 33.6K, technology guy. the victory are we oh boy this is a terrible second half stream if you connect to 50 56k the, the website could have loaded faster I think it's not really a dial of pace, that's why. Yes. But it is now, Jot Dot. It's a dial up page now. Alright, I guess we're gonna stop. You already resize them? <laughs> you resize the images while we're still trying to load this page. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna stop. We're, let's dial into a BBS, huh? The last time, little bit of time we have here, I suppose. The dial-up ain't really happy about it. It must be happy. <laughs> yeah, you resize some images this whole time while this website was trying to load. It still has not loaded. Yeah, I hate to give up on it, but we're going to let it go. Goodbye, archive. All right, we're getting out of all of this. We're going to disconnect. We're going to try dialing to a BBS. That is the new way of life. Okay, thank you. I know. Yes. Hello. Come on. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to restart the computer. Everything is freezing up. Oh yeah, what do I hit, technology guy? Alt, delete, yeah, in task. Come on. There we go. Everything's gone now. Here we go. We're going to Telex. Dial-up is trying to make me give up. Yeah. It, it won. Dial-up won this time, technology guy. Uh-oh. Shoot. The whole computer froze. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Come on, computer. There it goes. Telex. Telex is a user-supported software. Initializing modem. All right, I got a number I think will work, hopefully. I'm giving a lot of faith in it because it's the only number I have. 503-852-3170. Imagine running Windows XP or Windows Vista or 7, yeah. Imagine how much worse that would be. Alright, please choose one of these languages. Okay, it looks like we connected. Alright, we'll choose one. 
Display and see graphics. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, cool. The key. Featuring online entertainment and friendly, fun atmosphere. There are no adult graphic files on this system. Internet Telnet, thekeep.net. Thekeep.net. Free access available to all. Just validate your email with slash go validate. BBS has been having trouble after cleanup. I think I have that fixed. You already have a user? Okay, we're going to type new. I don't think I've been here before. If I have, I don't remember. Welcome, traveler. You have entered into the key, a most friendly and entertaining place. We welcome you to our system. Before going into that, though, I must take care from legal mumbo-jumbo. My boss tells me I have to go through. First off, we need to get clear this is a privately owned system. We reserve the right to few service to anyone. Attempts to tamper damage or fraud system are against Oregon and federal laws. Okay. Whoa, did I notice he admiring my sword? Okay, continue. He winks slyly and turns to the wall behind him. Okay, good. The following word may or may not be in color. Is it in four different colors? Yes. Yes. Good, your answer has been used to control the ANSI features of the system. Now if I can just find you an application for a tourist pass, we'll get underway. He turns to a six foot tall stack of papers piled up on his desk, closes his eyes, stabs blindly into the stack with his hand and pulls out a single sheet of paper. Oh, there we are. Please fill out this out honestly. All information is used for internal use only. It will not be available to other users, nor will it be released to any agency or persons without court order. We validate all members, and if you don't put a valid full name, address, 12-digit phone number, at least, your account will be automatically suspended. Yes, this is still applicable in 2018. Oh, all right, continue. Please enter your first and last name. Okay, come on, keyboard. Well, if the keyboard doesn't work, there we go. It's just being slow, slow. Yeah, why did I have to spell that like crocodile? Now enter your email address where we can email you. Man, my typing skills are not that great right now. Okay. Enter the first line of your address. Enter the second line of your address. What the crap? I 
IBM PC are compatible. Oh gosh, my birthday. That's fine. I lent you a somewhat false birth date. <laughs> Am I male or female? Male, of course. Where did I find out about the keep? I guess Reddit. Yeah. Taking the form, the man scans it slowly, muttering unintelligibly to himself. He then picks up a quill and asks, Wow, now you need to choose a user ID. The user ID will be your code name for this system. You use it to identify yourself to the system when you log in, and other users will know you by this name. I want to be dial up man. Here's how you do Okay, dial up man. Are you satisfied? Yeah, I'm satisfied. Sell your soul time. <laughs> Sell your soul time, yeah. Okay, dial -up man, you'll also need to select a password, okay. God, could this be any slower? Oh. Welcome then to the keep. One moment, please, whilst I send this information to the census office and the head of the keep's guard so ye will be recognized as a tourist here. NX Friends 1.90 by NX.com. Friends is a great way to keep track of where your friends are. Since this is the first time you've used Friends, your list of friends is empty. Keep Radio 2.02 .02 by Annex. Keep Radio is on the air. It's a great way to talk easily to users who are in a different area of the BBS than you are. Your radio has already been turned on for you and tuned to station Keep. You can talk to other people at the station anytime by starting what you want to say with a hi there, everyone. Continue. You can tune your radio to a different station with the tune command like tune, KRFA. You really don't like to listen to radio. You can turn it off. The radio off. Jot down. We gotta get my uh, my sound working again. So I'll have to call you. Uh, I'll, I'll do that. Hey, you haven't filled out your registry yet. Just type slash go registry and create your entry. Tell Arena Classic has been installed on the system. Welcome, prospective user. Our system requires that you have entered the correct information prior to logging. We don't appreciate users who enter false information. All offenders are subject to any, to any what? Continue. Yes, I accept your rules. We hope you have a pleasant stay. Thank you. Today is Saturday, March 30th, 2024. Lines in use one, which means I'm the only person here. Your account is running low. You only have seven days remaining before your account access will be changed. Why? 
Average age of users shown above 47. <laughs> Build and battle the best droid possible with battle droids. Bring your shoes or rent a pair. The bowling alley is open. Okay. Continue. Colorize register 1.5. On the edge of desert or forever, the city of Falcon awaits you in Forbidden Lands Book 1. Okay. Are you cunning enough to bring the galaxy under your rule? Found out in Galactic Wars. This is like a bunch of ads for BBS or something. Come out and play Fair West Trivia. If you don't believe in legends, you haven't seen Kyrandi. Oh yeah, you're getting ready for your day, uh, technology guy. That's what's up. Good deal. Super Lotto, no winner yet. Numbers drawn were one, three, four, five, eight. Today's pot is one hundred eighty-seven thousand five hundred one. AKA scripting or remote controlling of other people's accounts are both forbidden on this system. System news is now located in the news form. Okay, good. Okay, we're finally here on the keep. Ooh, chat rooms. Flash games, F. Interlink conference, okay. Chatting menu. Please wait. See if I can exit. See if I can get back to the home page. There we go. Play uh, an online game. Ooh, arcade style games. Try that. board games. I don't know. Backgammon checkers. Oh my goodness. Okay, checkers. Welcome to tournament checkers. Tournament checkers different slightly from regular checkers. I am the only person present at the moment. Let's get out of this. Try, uh, I don't know, Slato America? Slato America. Okay. Choose lotto numbers. Oh, let's play slots. P. You down with OPP? No, you don't know me. Yeah, that worked. Choose lot of numbers. 
four, three, two. Okay, do a quick pick. Lotto numbers. Hit enter. Okay, that was fun, huh? <laughs> Exit. Exit. Okay, exit. How many times do I have to press X to exit? Goodness gracious. All right. What do we do now? Uh, internet services? Telnet to other servers, Finker other servers, what? Internet, why can't I choose other ones? Why can't I choose W? Okay, other BBS is on the net. I did. I chose B, C. Oh my goodness. Why won't anything work? Nothing. No, well, that was fun. Uh Seven calendar. Credits left zero. March thirtieth, twenty twenty four. So it's got the right date on there. Electronic mail system, public message forums. Okay, let's try public message forums. Oh, whoops, F. Let's read a message. Let's read the first message. Hi all, I just want to drop a quick line to say that if anyone is interested in getting into the very rarely played games and wants help or advice, I'd love to see a few more players in some of the more obscure games. I know quite a bit about Kyrenia and Trade Wars 2002. I also play Excalibur pretty frequently. I keep hoping the old door games come back online because of back in the day I was a huge fan of Arrow Bridge and Baron, Baron Realms Elite. That's all. I hope to see everyone around. Zedalian. December 21st, 2006. Let's reply. Okay, email. Thread. I don't have access. Uh, excuse me. All right, I'm done. Yeah, we've been online for 19 minutes. <laughs> Library of files. Select a library. Question mark for a list. Whoa. Smog related files.
alphabetically. Alright, we're getting out of this. Alright, goodbye, log off. Goodbye. I don't want to ever see you again in the keep. Yeah, I'm sure. You are about to terminate this connection, I know. Why T? Why H? Ugh. Okay, thanks for calling to keep. You were online the session for 22 minutes, and it was 22 minutes of, of elongation. Oh, the string lag for you, yeah. No carrier. Okay, guys, we're going to call it a night. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you so much, Jata. Thank you so much, Technology Guy. I know you're getting ready for your day. Charlie, thank you. California Ford, I know you're asleep, but thanks for coming. Uh, wait, somebody else. JC Russell. Good to see you here. Thank you so much. Thank y'all for coming so much tonight. And, and those that had to hang in with me this whole time, that had to pee in their chair. Thank y'all so much. I'm going to... Uh, we're going to call it a night. You guys, have a great night. And a great morning. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Good night and hasta la vista.